Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, a slightly different uh, layout this week. I actually am in the middle of, well, trying to do a garage clear out, tidy up, clear out some of the dust and dirt, and try and rearrange the area so I've got more space. Doesn't seem to be working that well at the moment. But that is the, the plan over the next few days. So other than the garage tidy up, I actually found uh, a picture that was up on Facebook just the other day. It, it, it summed it up perfectly. I'll put it up on the screen now. As you can see, I think that sums up most of us. It's 1% uh, cleaning, so 30% bitching and moaning about stuff, and 69% actually picking stuff up and going, oh, I'll, I'll have a play with that, which is... Well, hands up on that one, I'm guilty of that, as I'll show you later on. But as I say, main focus of today was obviously a couple of, uh, couple of videos back. I did uh, the Q&A, get your questions into me, ask me, well, basically anything regarding, obviously, bikes, channel, future projects, etc. Obviously, I did state that uh, electrics is a problem. That's hopefully what I want to try and achieve over the next few days, but it is going to take time. So I've uh, I've written out what questions I've been asked, and the first ones actually it was uh, one, two, three, actually four. A four-part question came in from Patel, so thank you, Patel. first question was the Z1000. Uh, what did I intend to do with it? He'd love me to do a cafe racer. I'm still unsure of what direction I'm going to go with the Z1000. Cafe racer, it's a possibility, but I, I'm sure, as I say, I, I've still got plenty of time. I'm still playing about with stuff, as you can kind of see off to one side. I'll show you what I've done with the end. But yeah, definitely a question. It's something that is going through my mind. It isn't going to be a standard bike, I know that. Uh, unlike the Z650 here, that is going back to as original as I can possibly get with the limited funds I have. He also asked the question about using different forks and how do you know what will fit and what forks to fit to what bikes? Uh, good question. I know that, um, well, I've dabbled with some, a lot of the, especially Kawasaki's, the Zeds, etc. It depends whether you're going on custom yokes, custom made with custom stems, because then they will make the yokes and the stem to actually fit and you just have to work out the actual uh, head brace bearings. That is one option, but quite expensive. It is an option I've looked at. The other option obviously is a lot of people use ZX9R, ZX7R, especially on Kawasaki's. A lot of it involves a stem change. If you're lucky enough and the stem is long enough, then it can be done. But most of the time you are looking at changing the stem. And then it is a case of obviously working out the head brace bearings. If you're lucky enough to actually use the original, the, the actual stem from another set of yokes, triple trees, then it is working out uh, the inner diameter of what the bearing will be on that stem, so the actual circumference of the stem, and then it will be the outer, actually in the actual bottom end of your stem. I do have somewhere actually uh, a chart that you can actually work out what forks you're using, what stems you're using. So I will dig that out at some point and we will cover that in a later episode. Also, the other ones I found that worked are GSXR 1100, the WPs. That's what's on there at the moment, as you can see. 
they're 1100 WP um, yokes that does work but it all depends as I say I will come back to this at a later date it all depends on the stopper actually on your stem so I hope that answers your question another part of the question is uh, he likes the t-shirt the my bike built my way great I really appreciate it if you like that the only thing he says obviously is finds it a bit plain and actually likes the the intro that I have with the brick breaking with the my bike built my way that actually came after I'd actually done the t-shirt so I'd done the t-shirt with that with the my bike built my way design and then obviously later on change the intro so I am looking at actually trying to get that brick pattern onto a t-shirt with the my bike built my way in the background so like an exploding wall but that's going to take some time and the last question he had was what job do I do uh, nothing really exciting work in an office on a computer obviously at the moment I can actually work from home which is what I am doing in these in these times of sort of lockdown in this country so yes just a just a lowly computer person sit in front of two screens all day and work away uh, next question came from C boy thank you C boy a 125 bill for you uh, for the newbies and youngsters that's a possibility um, it's not something that's crossed my mind but as I say the channel is growing the audience is expanding in all different angles so yes yeah, so a 125 that that could be something I could look at in the future I mean the question I'd have to ask back to you would be are you all about just regular maintenance of a 125 or are you actually on about a custom build of a 125 um, oh, I say I'm not really up on 125s but I'd say something like the Honda CG 125 see what you can do with that uh, or a Grom MSX 125 Grom do quite a lot with those but again it would it would come down to budget but let me know in the comments box below whether you're just looking for just general maintenance on 125s which would be similar to a lot of the stuff I do on the bigger bikes or are you on about a 125 budget custom build let's say let, let me know in the comments box below uh, next question is from Bill Bill was short and sweet keep doing what you're doing you're doing great thank you very much Bill much appreciated uh, I say Bill has been commenting quite a lot recently I really really appreciate all your comments all your feedback so as I say, keep keep the comments coming. I really I really really do appreciate it. Uh, right, another one from Mark again on the Z1000 build. What style? As I say, similar to uh, similar question and answer really to Patel. Um, he's like you know drag bike. There's lots of drag bike parts in America. Uh, street cafe custom. Again, uh, I'm really, really unsure at the moment. It's it's one of those things that as soon as I start, it will probably take its own form and go its own way. I, I don't know. There's, there's loads of things going through my head. But as I say, uh, the main focus for me at the moment is obviously get the Z650 done, move on to the next uh, maintenance project, which will be the Varadero. And then by that time, hopefully, I would have more ideas on on the Z1000 build uh, next question is from Gino thank you Gino uh, he's gone back to obviously my age-old problem lighting uh, he's basically said well you know to keep the cost down uh, paint the walls uh, reflective br uh, brolly behind the camera or a white sheet yeah definitely definitely worth thinking about I'm actually working at the moment it is a bit it's a bit too bright I've actually got a light behind the camera at the moment but it is quite bright so there are quite a lot of shadows so it's something I'm gonna to have to work on but yeah paint the walls reflective brolly white sheet 
all definitely things you know, I am trying to work on to actually make this a, a better area but still keep it as a obviously as a normal functioning garage obviously well cars don't come in here but it, it's it's a garage but I need it as a workshop as well so I need to I need to look at something uh, next question is from Davo uh, how about a Honda Blackbird build not something I'd actually thought of again obviously another build after the Z1000 it, it depends on money um, because the problem is I've got is I don't tend to get rid of bikes I don't like really selling them so I just end up with more and knowing me the Z1000 when it's finished I will just keep um, but a Blackbird it's a possibility I, I'm, I'm unsure I'm also ties that also ties in with HM's question what about ZX12 ZX12R yeah again it, it depends on it depends on cost because obviously the bikes I mean blackbirds are, are cheaper to pick up now ZX12Rs are still fairly desirable with a fairly hefty price tag on them so unsure at the moment uh, I've also had another question obviously regarding future builds which is which is great it's loads of ideas to keep me keep me thinking through uh, Mikey thanks Mikey uh, what about a CBR 900 fireblade uh, street fighter single-sided swing arm again possibility not sure if it's been I think they've been done quite a lot it's 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 something to think about. I wouldn't discard the idea. I mean, CBR 900s, they are cheap to pick up, so that, that could be a possibility. Same as the CBR 600s. Could do a 600 build, I don't know. But again, good question, worth thinking about for the future. And the last question comes from Kevin. What do you use to clean your parts? Well, most of the parts go through either the ultrasonic cleaner which is a mixture of um, a cleaning solution which you can buy I'll actually dig it out in a second which you can actually buy from eBay that's how I did it in a big five, uh, five litre container and that's mixed with a water solution so it, it, yeah I think you use mostly water and then tip in a couple of couple of capfuls of this uh, this cleaning solution that you can get from eBay I'll, I'll dig it out in a sec uh, the other one is in the parts washer and sometimes I use it in a bigger tray is actually it's rock oil uh, SOC soluble degreaser again it's uh, a mixture with water but it does bring them up really, really clean. Another one I found is, pretty well, not carburetor cleaner. It's great. Not good, for, you know, brilliant for carburetors, but also it does clean parts and it does dissolve really quickly and doesn't leave any greasy residue. So that answers all your questions. I really, really appreciate all the all the feedback I get, all the questions I've got. As I say, these questions have come basically through emails, through Facebook obviously through YouTube and some of the forums as well that obviously I speak to as I said to you before I'll leave a link in the description below to my Facebook page everybody's welcome to come across say hello I think uh, the last couple of posts it was I was interested of what people are actually building at the moment what are they doing with their time in this lockdown uh, had some great responses loads of pictures so Come across, as I say, link in the description. But I'll grab out, I'll grab the, um, the cleaning solutions. Right, these are the two cleaners I use. That's the Rockall uh, SOC Soluble Oil Cleaner. That goes in my parts washer, and I've got like a long plastic tray. It's only about that deep, but it enables me to clean as well. And for the ultrasonic cleaner, is there you go the vibrotech parts washer 
fluid which you do on a I think I normally when I fill the parts washer up I think I do probably about three or four capfuls but that's what I use to clean the parts and then obviously the, like I say the other thing is a carburetor cleaner as well Right, as regarding everything else, not much has changed. I say I moved all the painted parts up onto onto the bench, obviously where I'm cleaning out and having a sort through. The side panels, again, on hold just for this episode. Next episode I'll actually be attacking the tank, but as I say, these have just been hung up, left to dry. Finishes actually come out quite well. So there's a slight scratch dent mark there, so that will need a bit of filler on it. That's come out much better, so that'll be ready to go onto the inner sprocket cover. But yeah, pleased with the side panels. Inside, not as good, but not really worried. It's more the outer. But say, and everything else you've already seen. So tank will be coming off next, and that'll be stripped. Yes, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll get this tank off. So I've also put the cleaned up the rear under tray, just bolted that in loosely. Just gives me an idea how everything sits. And how it goes, it just pops in. So it is, it is taking shape, there is stuff happening, so I've got the other shock to do. I'm so happy with the front end, so that would just be a case of when it comes to the actual engine going back in, just unbolt all this, it's all loose fit. But I so say this will be this will be the main one, as you can see where I started. And you can actually see some of the original green. So all this will be stripped back. That's going to take a while and it's going to be messy. So just after I've cleaned my garage up, I'll make a mess. But right, what I've been mucking around with. So obviously, thought I'd try a set of yokes in here. So these are GSXR 1100W, yeah, W's that were drilled. I already had the uh, risers. I've just tried it with a set of flat bars. Uh, Pinch the seat from the uh, from the Z just to see. Gives me ideas, see how it looks, and also. around with shocks and swing on again that's what I mean you come out in the garage to actually clean and I end up playing so got a fair amount of cleaning done I mean that area has been swept out and has got there but then I started playing when I find stuff and it's like oh I forgot I had those shocks they'll fit and then I had a play with the swing arm and spare rear, rear wheel that I've got it's not one that I'll probably use in here. That's off, uh, this is off uh, 250 Hornet. But it does give me an idea, it's, uh, I think it's a 180, 55, so it gives me an idea of size wise, etc. But again, it's just boys and their toys just playing. Right, thanks for joining me on that one. Hope that one was helpful. Hope that answered your questions. It is good to see the support and the feedback and the questions that I get. I so say that's that was only the second Q and A I've done. It's just testing the water. It, it gives me information. It, it lets me sort of try and plan a little bit for the future. 
uh, as I say, there were some great ideas in there of future projects that I can look at. At the moment, uh, I believe it was Bill again who basically said, you've got enough projects on the go at the moment. It's like, well, yeah, Z650, then on to the Varadero, a little bit on the ST, and then the Z1000. So there's, there's plenty to keep me going for some time. But obviously I still need to think ahead, so great ideas, great suggestions. I say Blackbird, X12, Fireblade. Um, but yeah, I mean the 125, that does sound interesting. I mean I did the Mini Moto some time back and that was great fun. So yeah, as I say, let me know in the comments box below what sort of thing you'd like to see on 125s. Would it, as I say, would it just be a maintenance or would it just be uh, a custom build of some shape form or description I'm unsure don't know never really done never really done one two fives well not since my uh, my teenage years but yeah that could that could be a, a bit of fun I know it's sort of like some of the old Honda CG one two fives is cheap enough to pick up Grom a little bit more expensive but let me know and as I say, link to my Facebook is also in the description, so pop across, say hello, uh, show me a picture of what you're building at the moment, it's, it's, it's always great to see, and uh, I do try and chat with as many people as possible. But as I said, next episode is the tank, need to get that stripped down, so back to bare metal, see if there's any dents, lumps, bumps, etc, I don't know. I say it's an unknown entity of what could be under that paint whether it is any filler I really don't know but we'll find out it'll be a messy job but get that back down to bare metal see what needs doing get some primer on it and then I can move forward with the other pieces of bodywork and start getting the base coat on them so until next time thanks for watching cheers bye